So I'm back to the school that I got a bunch of dimes, 1939 school. Right there somewhere I got 68 uh, American cent. I figure I'll hit this area that might might have been not not hit very hard because uh, there's this newer baseball field, but the grass might be older and I was right that uh, my second signal something silver shows up here right off the plaque not very deep let's take a look looks like young Liz young Liz dime Very dirty. Oh, we get a date. I think. Where is it? It's clean on the date side. 1953, first year. Awesome. Good idea to come back here. I was gonna go somewhere else, but I'm like, you know what? Let's hit this properly. There's still some land uh, that I did not detect. So great. All right, got a couple pennies. Looks like I got weedy. I already dug it out. I think it's 1946. It's a bit shady here, but it's relatively shallow, maybe three three inches max. So I may have to dig all the penny signals here, shallower signals. There isn't many, so that's a good thing. All right, another shallow signal. It's a young Liz penny, so their staff here is definitely shallow in this area. 1964. Well, got to dig them all now here. All right, I think digging shallow signals is finally paying off. I got KG6 penny I didn't show you. Right on top of this little, little tiny clamp. <coughs> Looks like we have a dime. I think it's going to be a 68. Yeah. 50 percenter. Can't really see the date, but it kind of looks like it. Awesome. Nice to get on board with two silvers. However small and new. All right, seems like a good spot for dimes. That sounds like pennies that are shallow. Right in this bag, I would say no more than four, uh, three inches down. We got a silver dime again. Oh, 67. It's my second 67 from here. There it is. A little macro. Awesome. I'll continue checking the spot. Seems to be paying off. All right, so I got a squeaky signal here. Sounded kind of nice. I think I missed it. Dug this plug next to original plug. Look what popped out. Youngless dime. I don't think we're gonna get a year in it right now. That's gonna have to wait for the wrap up. But it's a young list dime, 1953 to 1964, sometime there. Awesome. So I got four, four dimes, already 15 dimes out of this spot. I like that game, this spot. All right, just a, off the surface, I thought I might be getting a ring finally, but it's a US, U.S. quarter, ringing nicely. They always do, 2000 uh, edition, I think. 
one of the state quarters. Not sure which one. Maybe Virginia. Anyway, moving on. All right, I think uh, finally, finally I got bigger silver. I think I got 15 dimes already out of this place. Got a nice signal, a little bouncy. I think I saw something shiny pop out. Where is it? Right there. Let's take a look. Where is it? Right there. Yeah. We got a quarter. Definitely silver quarter. Sixty-five. Newer list, but still eighty percent. Awesome. Happy with this one. Happy, happy. Whew. Time to drink some water and keep going. All right. So I just dug. Kind of iffy signal. Uh, pulled out uh, a wine cup. Threw it somewhere on the side for a moment. But uh, in the dirt, there's something different. Let's see. It looks like a pen of some sort. I don't know. It looks kind of heavy too. There's a chance it could be silver. Let's zoom in on it. Can't really see. It does say something. I have no idea. Not zooming in really well. That says something, but it doesn't say sterling. Some kind of a wool to the oil until 1994 or 64. has that good look and the weight we'll clean it up and we'll take a look it's possible anyway nice find all right so I moved on to this trip I think I got the Georgia 6 penny uh, got a squeaky signal Look what showed up. 1943 vehicle. It's not focusing very well, but. And this side is crusty. George VI vehicle, war, war nickel. But not silver. Canadians are not silver. Awesome. All right, decided to hit close to the fence and it paid off in this hall pulled out the dirt look what's coming in with the dirt I think it might be an older dime looks like a worn dime yeah KG5 are we gonna get a year I don't think there is a year on it yeah uh, Let's zoom in and take a look. I think we will get a year. 19, 1928. Awesome. All this coin for the day. Happy, happy. All right, hitting this strip is paying off. Right by the tree, I got. Uh, 
that KG5 dime. Got a nice kind of signal, like a deeper penny. Must have brought it up with the machine, unless there's more. Looky here, got a dime. I think it's first Georgie for the day. Oh, there was a penny with it, probably. It's got a green on it. Are we gonna be able to see the year? Probably not. A zoom action? No. Gonna need to wait for the wash. Still pretty happy with this spot. All right, look at this. I just dug that thing. The hell is this? Who the hell knows? Looks kind of cool. All brass. Pretty well made. I think it's missing one of those uh, things. It's not a faucet thing. Definitely interesting. All right, time for a recap of all the finds. Getting tired, getting hot. Uh, time to go home. All right, so probably not the best surface to do it on, but a uh, whole bunch of older pennies, King George VI, Young Elizabeth, some Wheaties, quite a bit of Wheaties, 1946 right here. Um, this doohickey dog tag. I don't. This one says Taiwan, so I don't think it's silver. It does have good that good look. 1943. 1943. Uh, nickel. King George the Sixth. This ring sounded nice, but it. Uh, it is made out of aluminum. I think I'm gonna have to move a little bit. Anyway, a little bit of change. Couple US quarters, one dime. Uh, not silver, obviously. Let's check. But doesn't look that way. No. Just uh, and the dime and seven silvers. One quarter, 1965, I think. Dime, that's 1967. 1928 dime, the oldest coin. Another Youngless dime. Youngless dime, that's the 1968. And KG. KG6. All right, awesome. Seven, seven silvers. That's a pretty good day. All right, I'll see you on the next Night to Finder adventure. Take care.